Happy President's Day. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson with a look at your local forecast. This week is going to be pretty active. We're tracking at least a couple of systems. Uh, both will bring us some heavy snow concerns and uh, some heavy rain and severe weather concerns as well. We're kind of in the tail end of one system in the northeast. Still snowing early today in the Binghamton area, as you can see from the National Weather Service webcam there, and a fresh coating of snow. Washington, D.C., though, is under a winter storm watch for the potential of some heavy, wet snow coming up. Up, uh, midweek here and there's your winter storm watch from D.C. down to western portions of North Carolina. But again, the lingering snow has us under winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings for this early Monday. And again, kind of watching two different systems here, one moving out and then another moving in with some heavy snow coming up during that midweek time period. Minneapolis, you've had a very wet uh, February, snowy February that is. You can see this, uh, the uh, moon Kind of dropping there, setting early this morning. It will be full overnight tonight. Uh, looking at, again, four-tenths of an inch of snow yesterday, 22.6 this month. That's good enough for the fourth snowiest February in recorded history. Uh, we only need four inches more to get to the top uh, snowy February spot. But, uh, again, through midweek, we could have uh, a fairly widespread three- to six-inch tally here. Again, kind of watching the uh, track on this, but winter storm watch is already being posted near Des Moines. And winter storm warnings out in the southwest where heavy snow will be falling, especially in the mountains. But look at this. Watching some heavy rain develop in the southern U.S. Some two to four inch tallies just through Wednesday. But again, the seven day threat shows maybe some five to seven inch tallies. And again, there could be some severe weather both Tuesday into Wednesday into the lower Mississippi Valley. But fast forward to Saturday and a bigger threat for some severe weather. So this is going to be pretty active uh, week, week and a half coming up for us. And today, those temperatures are quite cold in the far north, where uh, temperatures are almost 30 degrees below average. We're going to continue to stay cold through early March.